Hi, in this video we will learn how to use Governance plugin which is a custom workbook extension available for download in Oracle Analytics library. Governance plugin fetches the artifacts, objects like workbooks, data flows, data sets and their relationships in Oracle Analytics platform. Once uploaded to the extensions page, you can access a workbook plugin with the tool icon seen on top right. Click on the tool icon and then Governance plugin from the menu to open the dialog. Here there are two tabs, workbooks and data flows and data sets. In the workbooks and data flows tab, there is an option to select the type of report and also an option to filter by owner. In the data sets tab, you can search by data set name or by owner. Let us go back to the workbooks and data flows tab, select both reports, workbooks and data flows and let us provide owner names which are email IDs in this case, but it can be non-email owner as well. Multiple owners can be separated by comma. Let us hit submit button. You can see the status updates on bottom of the dialog while the reports are being fetched in the background. It might take few minutes depending upon how large the output is. When the browser says page unresponsive, please click wait button for the process to finish. Once the process completes, the output reports are downloaded in the local file system. The generated output is limited to the visibility of the user access and permissions. Let us move on to the datasets tab. Here you have an option to search datasets by their names or by owners. Let us select dataset names. You can search by datasets full name or a part of it. For example, sample will fetch all datasets that contain sample in its name. Also, you can use star to fetch a report of all the datasets. Now, let us enter a few dataset names like sample order lines, donations separated by comma and hit submit. Once it completes scanning, you can save the output file. I have saved the output files locally. Let's take a quick look at these files. Let us open workbook output file. This has workbook details like workbook object ID, name, data sources used in the workbook, owner, created and last modified time, etc. Let us take a look at data flows output as well. Here we see the data flow name, object IDs of input and output data sources, owner and last modified time. Let us see the data sources output. Here you can see data source details like object ID, data source name, subject area saying whether it's an RPD or XSA, connection name, type, owner, etc. Also, you find some interesting columns like enable for, which says whether the assistant and home page ask are enabled on that data set or not. Similarly, you have columns for auto insights and knowledge reference as well. In OAC, I have created a multi-table data set with output files joined using data source object ID, which is available in all three outputs. With that data set, I have created few canvases to visualize the governance output data. This canvas shows the overview of number of various artifacts present in this instance. For example, 551 workbooks, 1040 datasets, 41 data flows, 45 connections using simple calculations. The pie chart on the top right shows percentage of datasets on which auto insights are enabled. The pie below shows the percentage of datasets which have AI assistant and homepage ask enabled. In the next canvas workbooks, we have network graph connecting data sources and workbooks. For instance, these are the workbooks using sample order lines as the data source. And here we have the workbooks using sample states. As you can see, these are the few workbooks which use both sample order lines and sample states as data sources. The data sources output has been loaded twice in this multi-table data set to be able to get the Sankey chart that you see here. And this allows you to see how the input and output data sources of the data flows are connected. For example, hotel reviews data set is used in various data flows to produce different outputs. This canvas shows how the governance output can help us find all related artifacts from a connection. As we have joined the tables with data source object ID, all related data flows and workbooks can be identified using the connection name on a single click. A lot of helpful insights like these can be extracted for administrative purpose using governance plugin. Thanks for watching this video.